I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching. From a happiness perspective. In this podcast, we not only simplify those hard financial things, but we also make them fun. If you're looking for a place where financial life coaching is fun, be a subscriber and let's have some fun together. The more the merrier, right? Or you can be a co-founder and join our growing community. The benefits are immense. For starters, you'll be on top of your world. So let's get to simpling. That's good. You know what else is good? Nope, you tell me. Change. That's what's good. You change everything. Change does take time and work, but in the end, it works. And it works for you. That means I have to be patient, doesn't it? Yes, patience does pay off. But first, you must pay the price. Most people are not ready to pay the price of change. What about work? Some people see work as another four-letter word. That it's a curse. Yet, without putting in the work, change will not happen. But toward a positive end, as iron sharpens iron, I want to share some investing nuggets that I've learned from our guest today. You mean from this guest's company, I'm guessing? Yes. What does this company do? It helps clients to, among other things, pay off their debts in about one-third of the time they would be if they were doing it the regular way. And this happens through an investment strategy called infinite banking. Only one-third of the time? Yeah, that's pretty fast, I'm thinking. Me too, but fast is not necessarily infinite. What's infinite banking? It is a secret of the rich that everyone should know. You want to be rich, DT, don't you? Sure, as long as we don't have to be before we can start. And we don't. We don't want anyone to be saying things like, we can't all be rich. Right, especially since it isn't true. Think positive, my friend. Belief is what makes or breaks a man's dreams. It's all a matter of belief. Thanks, guys, for that reminder. Now, how does infinite banking work? Not so fast. Our guest will get there more in Act 2 coming up. Not to worry, though. We'll talk about how to use it because very few people have heard of it. Unless you're a bank. Yeah, or make more than $300,000 a year. Can you give me more numbers? You know we don't do that here. Everyone has a number that's right for them, though. Oh, right. Secret of failure. And the secret of failure is what, again? It's trying to make everyone happy. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Well, yeah, actually, we can be too careful. Doing your own research, Dior, is a good idea, and I highly recommend it, but but that doesn't pass for taking action, and it doesn't pass for listening to an expert to see if he or she fits into what we want to do. Like maybe having a goal? Yeah, like maybe that for one thing. And the Mobius thing? The what? Don't be coy. You know what I mean. You just said that. No, I didn't. Well, someone did. Oh, that's the loop thing. That loop thing. That loop thing. So, it's an infinite loop? Or is it architectural design? It's a picture, yeah. Picture me reading my credit card statements. Ooh, that's ugly. Told you. No, that's okay, DT. You're not alone. People also do not read small print wherever it is. And their credit card statements are a licensing agreement. But if they do, it would open their eyes. Nice try. Nice try what? Trying to get out of talking about those Mobius things. Oh, that. That's just a science fiction thing that usually comes up when talking about infinity. Mm, that loop thing again. Yep. The one that has no end anywhere on its entire surface. That was a trick. It was? Yeah, because you're also talking about credit cards and licensing agreements. That's for our more down-to-earth listeners. For those who just want to twist a strip of paper and tape the ends together, well... A single strip? Oh, like when you go on about people doing all this stuff for themselves without any help, right? Mm, well, at least in the beginning. So, I'm gathering that our simple solution today revolves around the infinite. It does, although I'm not absolutely sure that it's infinite. It's not like DNA or an MC Escher drawing or something like that. But they revolve, right? <clears throat> yes, Kevin, but we're about to bring this down to land. That's an act three. Yeah, it's hard not to jump the gun when infinity's involved. Kind of like 
trying to predict the future again. The future? Already? It's, al it's already time for what? Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us. Please head over to the support link in our written show notes. That's the words on your podcast player. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doing level of support, a $4.99 knowing level, or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month. Great place to start, whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this for you. And to leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes. You'll go to a site where you can leave a video, audio, or text-only message, depending on how you feel at the moment. You can also send us an audio file attached to an email if you use just more than your phone for stuff. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. It's all in there and it's all easy. Back from the break. Did I say yet that? This podcast is a cheat code for life. No, but we said it for you. Excellent. Moving on swiftly. I want to expand my knowledge in infinite banking and get a policy. But, but... There's too much design engineering. I'll, I'll think about it tomorrow. I have too much on my plate. Procrastination, the opposite of decision, is a common enemy which practically every man must conquer. Napoleon Hill Court detected. So, uh, I take it that I should really not procrastinate. That would not be your best choice in most situations. Most situations? Okay, all situations. What about the infinity one? Oh, you mean the Mobius Loop? That's just one of many conceptual designs for three-dimensional Euclidean space. No, silly, get serious for a moment. Serious is not theory? No, serious is a heart attack. Yeah, or serious is... Serious is insurance. Hmm. I sense that you feel there's more. It's not just a feeling, DT. There is more. How so? Insurance can be infinite, too. Or, you mean it can be called that anyway? Yes, but it can also do more. And you know, yes, I know how much we like doing and paying ourselves, yourselves, dear listeners, first. Right. So where are you going with this? I'm going toward the idea of you being your own bank. Using insurance? Yes, that's what he said. So you'd loan money? In a way, yeah, but to yourself. I'm confused. No need. That's one of the reasons we've been moving toward our expert pool. How's that? By opening up part of this platform to experts, to guests. Oh, like Sally. Yes, DT. In fact, I think I'll call her right now on this. Okay. Um, 1989, so before cell phones, I was a resident assistant at University of Maryland. It was football Saturday. I came out and said, whatever you're studying at Maryland, stop it, find out about insurance, and start an infinite banking policy. In January of 1990, I went to Crystal City, Virginia, went with my boyfriend at the time, and it was a family office meeting, and they said, oh, you start for the first five years at $50,000 each year, and by year six, you're going to put 100000 in, and I laughed, and everyone stopped and looked at me like, What's, what are you laughing about? Like, I'm a college kid. I have no money whatsoever, so I've been on a quest for over 30 years, and Infinite Banking has been around for 178 years. Walt Disney used it to buy the land in Anaheim for Disneyland. You know, J.C. Penney used it to save mm -hmm. J.C. Penney's during the Depression. Currently, not to be political, just uh, President Biden has six policies. I'm assuming three for himself and three for First Lady Jill Biden. But the rich know about this. I don't okay. want to say who my student was, but she's from a chocolate, fa a very famous chocolate fa uh, family. She's doing much better now. She's a mother, grandmother, everything else. Mm -hmm. So she's doing good. Okay, cool. One of my examples is a 34-year-old woman named Trisha. Her husband, Mike, they made a decision. They're not going to pay off their house. They have that at 3.5% interest rate, which is a great interest rate. They're paying off their debt, and then they're going to start investing. Easy things, gap insurance, where somebody needs an extra $20,000 to finish the house, You know, where the, the bank doesn't give you enough money to finish things. I'm teaching them how to invest in notes where you're making 18% return on investment in six months. Things like this, they take a non-recourse loan, so they're putting the money into the policy. They're getting compounded interest rate plus dividends. 
when they take the loan, it's coming from the general fund. Unfortunately, when you pay for term insurance, only 3% of term insurance gets paid out. So it's a cash cow for the insurance companies, travel insurance, dis dismemberment insurance. So all her money is getting that 3.5% compounded interest rate plus the dividends. And when she borrows it, there is a simple interest rate on it, but you, you come out ahead. It, when you see the, the graph, when you see the cash flow analysis, it makes sense. They're going to pay off their debt. Now they're going to be uh, completely debt-free in under seven years with what they're doing. And then she's starting to put money. She's going to, when her son gets to college, they'll be able to take money and pay for him to go to school. It's an amazing policy. When she's 65, she still will put $500 a month into the policy. She'll be, be taking out 1,500 because the interest rate keeps building and building and building. So first year, she's at 62% return rate. Second year, she's about 68, 69%. Third year, she's over 75%. By the fourth year, she puts $500 in, she takes out 510. By the fifth year, she puts $500 in, she takes out 530. Sixth year, $500 in, she takes out six, like $600. So it keeps the interest rate. As Albert Einstein says, inter, uh, compounded interest rate is the eighth wonder of the world. If people are listening, they're going to say, or I think maybe they, they would say, okay, well, I'll just go buy some life insurance. And that's not what you're talking about. No. And now I'm doing tax tax deeds in Florida. I've got gap funding. I have another, I, I bought a rental house. You know, there, there's certain things I'm doing. So my mm -hmm. policy is growing and right. growing every month, but I'm making it grow faster and faster too at the same time. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So how would people, listeners, get in touch with you if they want more information or you know, possibly to, to explore further about this? My calendar link, uh, my, my name, uh, you can go to calendar, Sally M. Like Marie, which is my middle name, uh, Gimmon, G-I-M-O-N, to see my calendar. My website is sally.live, L-I-V-E, and then my, the initials iws.com. This might not be for everyone. It is whole life. There is a physical. It's height. But I also have what I call my seven streams of income. If you want to give it to your guests as a freebie, it's just what I use. What I, I was dealing with notes and COVID shut me down right? literally overnight. Yeah. You know, so I do have other streams of income I work with. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, so what was that trying to tell me? This is Financial Life Coaching, from a happiness perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you mean that happiness is infinite? It can be. But this isn't just an exercise, even though exercising is good. That's good. Right, everyone. I can sure speak to that. What I mean is that happiness is the most important thing that there is. And that this tool, this infinite banking thing, can take a lot of pressure off. That it can. It certainly beats. Staying on the fence. Right. Let's get this journey started. This journey requires utmost dedication, DT. Your mind's made up? My mind's made up. I have learned over the years that when one's mind is made up, this diminishes fear. Knowing what must be done does away with fear. Rosa Parks quote detected. Goodness, DT. You're starting to sound like our AI friends. Next, you'll start going on about looping surfaces and hyperbolic geometry. Thanks, not. But there's only one of them I need to sound like. Who's that? Who's that, right? As if AIs were who's. Good point. And we might think about getting that into a different episode. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. 
We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. Can I simple that? Por supuesto. Of course. Just simple it. Please make sure your seat belts are fastened and your tray tables are in their upright position. And make sure simple is a verb like Google is a verb. Ha! We're in that last part where we wrap this up and tie it all in with investing lessons. Right. And you go first, DT. What lessons have you learned from today's podcast? I have learned that planning is of the essence, like how Sally and her team have to do mapping for clients. And? And mapping means just that. Charting a course to a destination or a goal. Many times, I just rush into investing without any mathematical theory. That's a great observation, DT. Remember, you are injecting your hard-earned money and precious time into a venture. So it, it's only prudent that you do your due diligence. And if someone asks, how do I do this due diligence? What do I tell them? The internet. There's that. Plus... There are experts like Sally and yours truly who are only a phone call or email away. Think positive. The other lesson I have learned is that investing requires stick to itiveness. If that's what you want to call planning, then sure. Then how about if I call it commitment? Yeah, that's good. Plenty of people fail at investing because they, say it with me, suck at commitment. Clever. We should stick to our investment plan, though, for the long haul. Not in fits and starts. Just like in a normal space of lines between friends, investment is a relationship that requires commitment. If there is a lack of commitment, the investment will flatline. The other lesson I have learned is that investing will often require sacrifice. In the short term, maybe. And that's a big one, DT. Sacrifice is often what separates pretenders from the real McCoys. In the investment game, if you can't pay the price then you can't reap the profits. I've also noticed that the price, or insurance premiums in this case, are often paid regularly for extended periods. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. The price is not always a one-time payment. It can be in bits and pieces and for a while. It's not always really obvious or fun at first, but then Rome wasn't built in a day either. Patience, patience, patience. Yep. Investing requires experts and coaching too. Nobody knows everything. For instance, in infinite banking, we needed an expert to break it down for us. Yeah, no one needs to fly so low. No, they don't. In fact, if you don't know something about a particular investment plan, let us know, and we will hook you up with the right people who have top-notch intelligence. And let me guess, then I have to actually practice and repeat it, right? No, you don't have to. I don't? No. Instead, you could be one who I will beat into clamorous whining if thou deniest the least syllable of thy addition. Rightio, my bard. Any more commitment wisdom before we go? Well, I could say that the value of decisions depends upon the courage to render them. The great decisions, which served as the foundation of civilization, if you could recall more than two years ago, were achieved by assuming great risks, which often meant the possibility of death. Napoleon Hill Court detected. But since I won't say that, Vina, it's not detected. But thanks. But we will PPR, right? That we will. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, Script Consultant, Open AI, Language Consultant, Ever Evolving, Media Expert, Favor Abassi E.K., Psychologist, William James, Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Perrot, Sound Designer, Goodly Amo Marconi, Videographer, Alfred Hitchcock, Inspiration, Many Podcasts and Other Sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites, and you can subscribe to both podcasts and get ebooks and other great stuff. You can send us a video, audio, or text message, but of course, you'll have to head to the show notes, either on your phone or on the web, to actually get links and stuff. And those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, 
The artificial intelligence or AI voices you hear in our work come from Google, Amazon Polly, OpenAI and the online tone generator linked in the show notes. Finally, you can find us on prodmatch.com and matchmaker.fm, where we consider guests and guesting on other pods. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. The sound effects credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Canoe CG, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Good Ink. Yes. That's his or her name, all on freesound.org.